When Sam Ballard was just 19, his friends dared him to eat a garden slug. Being a brave guy, he went for it. But sadly, that choice led to something really bad. Almost 10 years later, at age 28, Sam passed away because of problems caused by eating that slug. His last words were, I love you, spoken to his mom. Now let's talk about Sam. He was just a regular young guy, a bit lively perhaps, but his family thought he was a good kid overall. According to his friends, he was a fun person, always bringing energy to the group. Even though he sometimes took things to the edge, he never really did anything bad. Let's dig into Sam's heartbreaking story. The whole tragedy started on a typical night, just like so many others. Sam and his buddies were chilling in his backyard, sipping on red wine, and having a good time with loud laughter filling the air. To truly appreciate Sam, it's important to know that most people saw him as a larrikin, a lively and sometimes mischievous young man. This takes us back to 2010 when 19-year-old Sam was on the brink of making a decision. Little did he know, this choice wouldn't just alter his own life, but would cast a lasting impact on the lives of everyone in his circle. Sam's friend, Jimmy Galvin, looked back on that moment years later, reflecting on it after Sam's passing. We were just sitting here, having a casual night of appreciating red wine, trying to be all grown up when a slug made its way across the scene, he recounted. Odd and seemingly harmless as it may sound, that slug's presence marked the beginning of a profound and unexpected turn of events. The little slug was moving really slowly across the hard patio, and the group of friends noticed it. They were all a bit tipsy, and the teenage boys started talking about the tiny creature. Then, someone threw out a challenge. What if Sam ate the slug? The idea hung in the air as Sam looked at his buddies, thinking about whether he should do it or not. Without much thought, the teenager quickly decided to go for it. In a matter of moments, he scooped up the little creature and swallowed it. Surprisingly, he didn't feel sick or throw up. Sam tackled the dare like a champ, and his friends erupted in cheers. However, in the days that followed, something didn't seem right. A few days after the slug-eating adventure, Sam started experiencing intense pain in his legs. Concerned, he wondered if the slug had something to do with it, but his mom reassured him that everything was fine. While Australia was no stranger to venomous creatures, nobody thought eating a harmless slug could make someone sick. Worried about his health, Sam started thinking he might be developing multiple sclerosis, a condition his father had experienced. Fortunately, that possibility was ruled out, bringing some relief. However, the pain in his legs persisted, leading to more tests to figure out the root cause. What Sam and his mother didn't realize at that moment was the time was ticking away. As the doctors conducted further tests, they made a startling discovery. The increasingly severe illness plaguing Sam had an unexpected culprit, a parasitic invader known as Angiostrongylus cantonensis, commonly referred to as rat lungworm. Typically found in rodents, this parasite also makes its way into snails and slugs through their consumption of rat feces. But the story took an even darker turn. The rat lungworm parasite not only brought its own set of troubles, but also paved the way for another severe ailment, eosinophilic meningoencephalitis. This illness can be debilitating, and while many people managed to recover, Sam's fate was different. After receiving the diagnosis, Sam's doctors initiated treatment, but sadly, it was too late. He slipped into a coma, and more than a year passed, precisely 420 days, before he finally regained consciousness. When Sam awoke, the situation had worsened significantly. The coma left him with a brain injury, rendering him unable to move or speak. His journey took a devastating turn, and recovery seemed like an insurmountable challenge. Even though things were tough, Sam still had that mischievous spark in him, even if it was a bit toned down. Simple tasks like eating, going to the bathroom, and walking were now big challenges for him. He needed help around the clock. Sam's mom, Katie Ballard, felt crushed, and Sam himself was really sad. The years that followed put both of them through some really hard times. In the beginning, Sam couldn't move his arms or legs at all. He relied a lot on his mom and friends for everything. But with a lot of effort, determination, and going through physical therapy, he managed to get some movement back. Still, getting all the way back to how he used to be seemed like a far-off dream. Back in 2011, 
Katie Ballard shared a post on Facebook expressing hope that her rough-and-tumble Sam would recover. It's the kind of hope most moms hold on to. The belief that the person they thought they lost might come back to them someday. Taking care of Sam's every need for such a long time couldn't have been easy for Katie. In the years that followed the slug incident, she dedicated herself to fighting for proper care for her son. Following a lot of hard times, Sam's family eventually got $471,000 to help with his care. During this tough journey, Sam's friends made it a point to visit whenever possible. Seeing him connected to cables and unable to move was a surprise. Sam and Jimmy had this routine of watching football together, sneaking in a sip of beer whenever Katie gave them a little space. Over time, Sam started responding more clearly to their questions and prompts. He was aware of what was happening around him, knowing that they were there for him. This became even more apparent on a particular day when Jimmy felt the need to apologize. While they were engrossed in a football match, Jimmy turned to Sam and said sorry for not stopping him from eating the slug that night. The realization hit Jimmy that if he had intervened, preventing that seemingly harmless bit of foolishness, all the pain and suffering might have been avoided. Sam, overwhelmed by this admission, started crying, and the two friends shared a heartfelt moment, shedding tears together. It was a powerful and emotional day for both of them. For more than eight long years after that life-changing night, Sam battled with being mostly paralyzed. Sadly, he never bounced back as his mom, Katie, had hoped, and recently he left us due to his condition. Despite putting up a brave fight and being surrounded by the love of his friends and family, Sam found it too tough to keep going. But in his final moments, he wasn't alone. Surrounded by his family and the friends who stood by him through thick and thin, Sam passed away. Even as he said his goodbyes, he managed to utter some last words. Turning to his mom, he whispered, I love you, before peacefully leaving this world. Those friends, the very ones who were there with him on that fateful night of youthful mistakes, remained steadfast by his side throughout his entire struggle. Sam's mistake was really just a result of being young and not thinking things through. He took a leap without checking where he was headed, a classic youthful blunder. It was a pretty silly move, and if things had unfolded differently, his life might not have taken such a tragic turn. The hope is that Sam's experience becomes a lesson that helps keep millions of others out of harm's way. It's a stark reminder that even seemingly small decisions can have big consequences. So here's a straightforward piece of advice for the younger ones. Steer clear of eating slugs. It's just not worth the risk.